Welcome to today's video. Martin Luther King Jr. was a Baptist minister and social activist, who played a key role in the American civil rights movement from the mid-1950s until his assassination in 1968. He first became a pastor at age 25 at Dexter Avenue Baptist Church in Montgomery, Alabama. Then in 1959, five years later, he went on to go pastor alongside his father at Ebenezer Baptist Church in Atlanta. He is best known for his role in the advancement of civil rights using the tactics of nonviolence and civil disobedience based on his Christian beliefs and inspired by the nonviolent activism of Mahatma Gandhi. According to Wikipedia.com, King led the 1955 Montgomery bus boycott and helped found the Southern Christian Leadership Conference in 1957 serving as its first president. With the SCLC, he led an unsuccessful 1962 struggle against segregation in Albany, Georgia, and helped organize the nonviolent 1963 protests in Birmingham, Alabama. He also helped to organize the 1963 March on Washington, where he delivered his famous I Have a Dream speech. This video shares 12 things about the civil rights leader and Nobel Peace Prize winner. Subscribe to this channel for this and more. 1. His birth name was Michael, not Martin. The civil rights leader was born Michael King Jr. on January 15, 1929. In 1934, however, his father, a pastor at Atlanta's Ebenezer Baptist Church, traveled to Germany and became inspired by the Protestant Reformation leader Martin Luther. As a result, King Sr. changed his own name as well as that of his five-year-old son. 2. King entered college at the age of 15. King was such a gifted student that he skipped grades 9 and 12 before enrolling in 1944 at Morehouse College, the alma mater of his father and maternal grandfather. Although he was the son, grandson and great-grandson of Baptist ministers, King had no intention of following the family vocation until Morehouse President Benjamin E. Mays, a noted theologian, convinced him otherwise. King was ordained before graduating college with a degree in sociology. 3. King's I Have a Dream speech was not his first at the Lincoln Memorial. Six years before his iconic oration at the March on Washington, King was among the civil rights leaders who spoke in the shadow of the Great Emancipator during the prayer pilgrimage for freedom on May 17, 1957. Before a crowd estimated at between 15,000 and 30,000, King delivered his first national address on the topic of voting rights. His speech, in which he urged America to give us the ballot, drew strong reviews and positioned him at the forefront of the civil rights leadership. 4. King was imprisoned nearly 30 times. According to the King Center, the civil rights leader went to jail 29 times. He was arrested for acts of civil disobedience and on trumped-up charges, such as when he was jailed in Montgomery, Alabama, in 1956 for driving 30 miles per hour in a 25-mile-per-hour zone. 5. King narrowly escaped an assassination attempt a decade before his death. On September 20, 1958, King was in Harlem signing copies of his new book, Stride Toward Freedom, in Blumstein's department store when he was approached by a woman who asked if he was Martin Luther King Jr. After he said yes, she plunged a seven-inch letter opener into his chest. The tip of the blade came to rest alongside his aorta, and King underwent hours of delicate emergency surgery. Surgeons later told King that just one sneeze could have punctured the aorta and killed him. From his hospital bed where he convalesced for weeks, King issued a statement affirming his non-violent principles and saying he felt no ill will toward his mentally ill attacker. 6. King's last public speech foretold his death. King had gone to Memphis in April 1968 to support the strike of the city's black garbage workers, and in a speech on the night before his assassination. He told an audience at Mason Temple Church, like anybody, I would like to live a long life. Longevity has its place. But I'm not concerned about that now. I've seen the promised land. I may not get there with you. But I want you to know tonight, that we, as a people, will get to the promised land. And I'm happy tonight. I'm not worried about anything.
I'm not fearing any man. Mine eyes have seen the glory of the coming of the Lord. 7. King's mother was also slain by a bullet. On June 30, 1974, a 69-year-old Alberta Williams King played the organ at a Sunday service inside Ebenezer Baptist Church. Marcus Wainch and All Jr. rose from the front pew, drew two pistols and began to fire shots. One of the bullets struck and killed King, who died steps from where her son had preached non-violence. The deranged gunman said that Christians were his enemy and that although he had received divine instructions to kill King's father, who was in the congregation, he killed King's mother instead because she was closer. The shooting also left a church deacon dead. Chin Alt received a death penalty sentence that was later changed to life imprisonment, in part due to the King family's opposition to capital punishment. 8. In 1983 President Ronald Reagan signed a bill that created a federal holiday to honor King. The holiday, first commemorated in 1986, is celebrated on the third Monday in January, close to the civil rights leader's January 15th birthday. George Washington is the only other American to have had his birthday observed as a national holiday. It's said that the fight to make Martin Luther King, Jr.'s birthday a holiday took 32 years. 9. King had many close friends and strong supporters through life such as Dr. Billy Graham, Maya Angelou, and Dr. Ralph Abernathy. He traveled to India and greatly respected the teaching of Mahatma Gandhi. He was influenced by the writings and beliefs of Abraham Lincoln and Henry David Thoreau. He was a huge Star Trek fan. But most notably of all, it's said that his greatest influences in life came from the teachings of Jesus Christ through the Gospels. Dr. King's final words were to his longtime friend and musician Ben Branch, Ben, make sure you play Take My Hand, Precious Lord in the meeting tonight. Play it real pretty. Moments later, on April 4, 1968, he was assassinated on the balcony of his hotel room. 10. He and new wife Coretta Scott King married in 1953 and spent their first wedding night in a funeral parlor owned by a friend, because honeymoon suites were not available for African Americans at that time in history. 11. According to NobelPrize.org, at the age of 35, Martin Luther King, Jr., was the youngest man to have received the Nobel Peace Prize. When notified of his selection, he announced that he would turn over the prize money of $54,123 to the furtherance of the civil rights movement. Though he had received many honors and awards through his life, and even after his tragic death, he asked that at the end of his life, he only be remembered for other things. I'd like somebody to mention the day that Martin Luther King Jr. tried to give his life serving others. I'd like for somebody to say that day that Martin Luther King Jr. tried to love somebody. I want you to say that day that I tried to be right on the war question. I want you to be able to say that day that I did try to feed the hungry. I want you to be able to say that day that I did try in my life to clothe those who were naked. I want you to say on that day that I did try in my life to visit those who were in prison. And I want you to say that I tried to love and serve humanity. Yes, if you want to say that I was a drum major. Say that I was a drum major for justice. Say that I was a drum major for peace. I was a drum major for righteousness. And all the other shallow things will not matter. I won't have any money to leave behind. I won't have the fine and luxurious things of life to leave behind. But I just want to leave a committed life behind. 12. Dr. King was the author of many books and famous speeches. He is known as one of the greatest communicators of all time. It is known that one of his most memorable speeches, I Have a Dream, was improvised at the end when he left the prepared text in response to gospel singer Mahalia Jackson's cry. Tell them about the dream Martin. Thank you for watching.